Hi everyone, it's Calcine here, and today I'm going to show you my new PC build. Before we begin, I'd like to say that this will be my first ever build, so I'll actually be doing this myself. My previous PC was built by a relative which I've had since 2015 when I started a degree in game development. It was a fairly low mid-range spec at the time, and I didn't know much about building PCs, but now it's time to fully upgrade every part and bring myself up to date. So let's check out what I've got. Starting with the power supply, a 1000W ROG Thor Platinum 2, an ROG Strix Z790E motherboard, the ROG Herculex GPU holder, 32GB DDR5 RAM, a rated at 5600MHz, two 1TB WD SN850Xs, and an Intel 13th Gen 13700K, a Noctua NHD15 Chromax Black to keep that CPU running cool, and finally, that big beefy thing right there, an RTX 4080 Founders Edition. Alright, so it's time to unpack the motherboard. We'll find out what this box is in a few seconds. That is an ROG keyring. I'm actually in need of one since mine broke, so cheers for that. A welcome card promoting Armory Crate, with some cool designs on the back, standard informational pamphlets, a detailed motherboard layout, some cool looking ROG stickers, and a very handy manual. To quote Brad Pitt, what's in the box? Oh, it's a Wi-Fi antenna. Pulling the motherboard out. Oh my, that is shiny, that is beautiful. One of the things I love about this motherboard is having a lot of ports for my peripherals and of course, utilising 3.2 Gen 2 speeds. That's the back of the motherboard. What's next? I'm clueless. Just kidding. It's the CPU of course. I'm actually a bit nervous. Wow, is this what holding a CPU feels like? So delicate, yet so beautiful. Time to install this heat generator. In it goes. Bolting it down. Phew. Let's keep this cover safe. Alright, RAM installation time. Corsair Vengeance RGB. Look at that pattern design. Cast latency is about... 36, 36, 36, 76, which is decent for right now. Customary peel. What's next? Let's get those NVMe SSDs in. The SN850X is an upgraded version of the SN850, now able to reach the peak PCIe Gen 4 speeds. Unscrewing the heatsink and there's a thermal pad on the back of it. These are needed to keep the SSDs cool and running beautifully because they run very very hot due to the speeds they operate at. My SSD is a non heatsink version, so I can simply use the heatsink provided by the motherboard. Plus, the motherboard design will look more uniform versus removing the motherboard heatsink for an SSD with a pre-installed heatsink. As you already saw earlier, I got a Strix Helios White Edition PC case. There's a box with some screws and a vertical mount bracket. Apparently it's very heavy straight out of the box. But it didn't feel like it that much to me. It was liftable without any sort of straining. I mean, I don't go to the gym or anything, but I'm not sure what those reviewers are talking about. Let's get these side panels and cable covers off. Unscrew the PSU shroud so we can fit the power supply in. The Thor P2 comes with some cable mod combs, zip ties. These are all the cables I need in the bag. There's two AC plugs, one for UK, one for Europe. So this is what the Thor P2 looks like. This design actually looks really cool. There's the OLED screen for the wattage. A Thor on the tip of a corner. Peeling. Get this in, screw it up. Lay it down, screw the motherboard. Here's a little something for the peel aficionados. Okay, so the NHD15, there's a mounting bracket, thermal paste, and the fan cable. It comes with a second NFA15 fan. Let's get this cool out. Just look at the shine on this thing. It's quite beefy, which is a shame because it will block some of the RGB coming from the RAM. Let's get the mounting bracket on. You will have to align this a certain way according to your CPU socket. So this is the NTH1. I would have preferred it if Noctua bundled the latest NTH2 with the fan cooler but this is good enough. This is my first time using thermal paste. I just followed the instructions provided, which is a dot on four corners and a decently sized dot in the center. Installing the heatsink, 
and now the fan, making sure it's on the side where it blows air towards the rear fan. And now the second fan. I had to keep this higher due to ramp clearance, and I think we're mostly done installing components, with just one last thing left, the graphics card. The size on this thing, it looks beautiful. The size and the fan size are the same as the 4090. This will help keep the 4080 that little bit more cooler when pushing the graphics to the max. Get that GPU installed. Here's the 16 pin to 3 8 pin PCI adapter. I did use this in the meantime while building this PC. Before I bought the Thor P2, Asus announced that they will ship the native PCI Gen 5 16 pin cables in their Thor P2 lineup, so my understanding was that it would be included when I bought the P2. However, it was just the 12 pin that was included, which will obviously not work with the 4080, but it is de facto included with the 1200 watt version. I'd reached out to Asus support and they shipped me the 16 pin within 3 days. Shout out to Asus, their customer support is just amazing and quick, so if you haven't done that already, that's what you need to do. There's actually one last thing left, the ROG Hercule X GPU holder. But you know what? You've waited long enough, and so have I. You'll see it for yourself in the montage. Coming up next. And that's it for this video guys, please like, comment and subscribe so I can bring you more content to enjoy. And also please follow my social medias to keep up to date with what I'm doing. And thank you for watching, see you next time.